stock down just a couple of dollars. I started surfing probably at five or six years old. As soon as I moved to San Diego for school, that was very close to Toto Santos, and I found myself excelling when it was bigger and just was always drawn to bigger waves. Just through a professor of mine, I was introduced to the team at Morgan Stanley. A couple of them were surfers and just said, I think you're a good fit for this team. And at the end of that summer, they offered a full-time job. You know, it was like a pretty sweet deal for someone that had studied finance in college and wanted to get into investments and all that. I said, hey, I'm excited to come work for you guys, but I had booked my flights, you know, I think two months in advance. I want to go to this place, Puerto Escondido. So he said, do what you got to do, you know, go on your surf trip and come back, you know, we're going to work hard together. Got down there and we hopped off the plane and it was the biggest swell of the summer getting a handful of waves myself. I think that just really inspired me and made me feel like, you know, while I'm young, I think this is something that I need to, to see through. It's good to go after something that you're really excited about. And I think that's what surfing was for me. mind to trying to get some set waves out of Jaws and it was something that I had visualized and then to have that happen was just another reassuring moment like you can do this like stay at it. sort of hoping that we were going to get a swell in the Pacific, but we found ourselves mid to end of February with no storms on the horizon, a huge high pressure over the Pacific. You know, just started looking elsewhere, thinking the Atlantic reached out to Twig, just, you know, said he'd be excited to do a trip to Europe, and Spain was the, was the call.
so we arrived last night, Basque country of Spain. So I came from Hawaii and Nick came over from, uh, from California. And we're basically just chasing a week of, of waves. Looks like a fantastic week here. There's nothing happening in the Pacific. Couldn't think of a better place to be than the Basque country of Spain. Pretty nice pocket ride and kick out to just look out the back and see twig on just the bomb in the morning. You know, and then he kicks out right right where I am and we're just like hooting, howling at each other. To be on this trip with one of my heroes and like one of the guys that I've always looked up to so much and then to just trade, you know, back to back with him was just a, an amazing experience. It's always a tough call. I mean, you come all the way, you travel for two days to get to a place, and in the end, was it the right call? You know, you never know. But that's the way it is. You know, we've had waves, maybe not what we what we anticipated size-wise, but the report looks looks fantastic for the next few days. We're gonna get a big van and load it up with a couple of the local kids and and go look for new waves and new experiences. So, I mean, it's all positive. Adrian Fernandez, the Valderrama. I'm from Bilbao, here in the Basque Country. I'm 70 years old. Twig came here for the tour and I met him. Surfing with Twig is it's amazing, no? Because you learn a lot of things. Yeah, I think Twiggy is just such a professional. He's got everything so calculated and dialed just to be able to watch how he operates and take that back to the drawing board for myself. And he's just full of knowledge and I'm trying to do my best to just be curious and take advantage of spending so much time with him. If, if I can help someone like Nick or Adrian get better at what they're doing, then that's cool, you know. I'd rather be remembered as the guy that helped out and was giving of, of my knowledge. I mean, I'm, how much longer am I going to be surfing big waves for? You know, five, ten years max. And then the joy for me is going to be coming from watching the, the youngsters take the sport to the next level. You know, just to be able to pick his brain on these long car rides and he had us drive in six hours here, four hours there, and just always seemed to find good waves. And, you know, we didn't get the biggest, best big wave trip that anyone's ever been on, but it's just so fun, just such good times. Hanging with Twig and meeting the locals and getting some of the culture as it came and you know, just experiencing it, being amongst it. For some reason, this one part of the coast is blowing onshore where the whole rest of the coast is blowing offshore. We're gonna have to wait and see, time will tell. <laughs> Can I give? What can I hold? 
fun ways we have a good time I mean look at us what a job you know so lucky it just ended up this crazy road trip that somehow we just decided that we wanted to look at everything whoa 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 that's three in a row guys searching for the big wave and we found it. The conditions were just getting better and better and the lines were stacking and you know it's just like a good exclamation point to the trip. This parallel of backwards gifts lifts. That was big and bumpy, slabby, sectiony, raw, <laughs> sick. So fun. Get to surf it with Twiggy. Freaking awesome. Surf with Twiggy and Nick, sick, sit there in the lineup with those two guys and yeah you learn a lot of things. The performance level from those two kids was, was amazing to see. You know, Adrian was an awesome asset to the, to the team. And Nick's definitely right there on, on the cutting edge of the next generation of big wave surfers and it was just awesome to be able to do this trip with him before I'm too old. <laughs> Driving through Spain and sitting behind a desk in Durban. Driving through Spain eating carrots. <laughs> My teeth are made for carrots. It's definitely not a stick carrot. Bugs Bunny can get to a carrot. Like that. 